Hyvik Boot Camp, lesson number six. Chilo, Nyedon Chudu, Dawasunbe, Tse Chugu, meaning year 2016, month 3rd, day 19th. So, in this lesson, we're going to learn about the three surmounted or superscript letters or consonants. And the three letters are Ra, La, and Sa. So these three letters, Ra, La, and Sa, when it's used on top of other letters, this is what it looks like. So this is the letter Ra when it's stacked on top of other letters. And La and Sa looks like the La and Sa. So now when it's stacked on top of the letter ka, this is what it looks like. So this is rakata ka, lakata ka, and sakata ka. So in this example, when whether the ra is used, whether the la is used, or the sa is used, there is no change in the pronunciation. So it's rakata ka, lakata ka, and sakata ka. And the reason is when you use any when you use a surmounted letter on any of this these red letters, there is no change in the pronunciation. When it's used with the greens, there is a little change. When it's used with the blues, there is a change. And then when it's used with the oranges, there is a change. And the purple letters does not use any of the uh, uh, surmounted letters. So as an example, rakata ka, lachata cha, satata ta. So these are three different examples we're using where we are using the surmounted letter ra, la, and sa. And these are three different letters. However, as you notice here, all these three are from this section, which are the red letters. So if if a letter, if a surmounted letter is used on top of a red letters, so any of these red letters, then there is no change in the pronunciation. These letters, these red letters are called, like, uh, if you divide it, like, Tibetan uh, letters are divided into five different uh, genders. So these red letters are male and then female, and then uh, the, so de depending on the color, whichever it belongs. The gender types are stated right here. So when it's used on top of the red letters, there is no change in the pronunciation. It'll sound as if there when you read it, when you pronounce it, it'll sound as if this is not even there. Even though it is stacked on top of the on top of these letters, but when you pronounce it, you wouldn't even see it or hear it. So you wouldn't hear it. So basically, it's, it acts like a, a silent, right? Okay. So these is these are rakataka, lachataca, and satatata. Now, when it's used on top of the the green letters, there is a change in the tone. So the tone becomes lower, as you can see with this error. So this by itself is ka. But when you add the letter, the surmount letter ra on top of it, this becomes ga. So ka becomes ga. <clears throat> Without its ka, with the uh, the surmounted letter, it becomes ga. Ka, ga. And then same thing here. Cha, ja. Cha, ja. Pa. Ba, pa, ba. So there is a lower the tone. The tone is lowered in these in these cases. Now, when it's used with the blue letters here, the sky blue letters, then the tone gets higher. So this one is without the without the surmount letter. This is letter nga. But with with the surmount letter, this becomes nga. So this nga. Nga. And then same thing here, without nga, with nga. These two uh, sound exactly the same thing. And there's actually, there's a, if I, 
I try to use different letters, otherwise I could have used the same uh, letter nga over here also. And it would sound exactly the same thing, even though it means different, differently, but it could be used. So rangata nga, langata nga, and in this case it's sanata na. So all the tone becomes higher. Otherwise, if I use over here, if I use one of the nga over here, then again this would be sa nga ta nga. It'll sound exactly the same, but it means totally different. Rangata nga is for tail, like tail, uh, uh, tail of a dog, a dog's tail. Langata nga, this one is number five. And then sangata nga, if, if I use this sermon letter, at the top here, and then if I use the same letter here, sangata nga, that would be early, early in the morning, nga, nga, like early, that's like sangata nga, langata nga is number five, rangata nga is for tail, so even though it sounds exactly the same, but the meanings are all different. And then when it's used on with the uh, with the orange, actually, this is the only orange letter which gets the la as a surmount. It doesn't get any other. It doesn't. Uh, none of the other surmounted letters are used, and the purple letter here doesn't get any. So basically, it's the the one letter from the orange section, and then a couple of letters from the green, and then a couple of letters from the blue, and then a couple of letters from the red section. So that's something to keep in mind. So basically, with the red letters, there is no change in the tone, even though there's a, even though any of these uh, surmounted letters are used. Uh, with the green letters, the tone becomes lower, and then with the purple, I mean, with the blue letters, the tone becomes higher, and then if it's used with orange, it becomes higher. So that's something to keep in mind. Okay. So what are the? So does that mean the the surmount letter ra will go to each and every single letters in the alphabet? No, that's not the case. So out of thirty letters, it could be used or it could be used to stack on top of twelve letters. So that's what this is saying. Rango meaning this stack letter right here. The the surmount letter right here. Jugni meaning twelve. Ni meaning R. So 12 rango R, right? So, and then over here it's given all the letters. So, it's, so it goes uh, on top of ka, ka, nga, cha, nya, ta, ta, na, pa, ma, za, and then za. So the same exact thing here, rango chungi ni, same thing in uh, headed letters or in ujin. This is in ume. This is in Uchen. So headless letters and headed letters. So like with all the lessons we have done so far, I try to include both the headless letters, uh, ume, and also the headed letters, so that you guys could at least have an exposure. Like okay, at least this is even though you may prefer one over the other, but at least you know what it looks like. So this is in headless letters, and these are in headed letters. Uchen. Ume. Generally, these are you'll find in publications, and these are used like a bit from like kindergarten all the way through sixth grade, and then these are used from seventh grade all the way to uh, colleges. Okay, then so this is the letter surmount letter ra in headed headless letters or ume, and this is in headed letters or Ujen, right? Ujen, ume. And this is the example we have right here. Rakataka, rakataka in Ujen, rakataka in ume. Now, some uh, something to keep in mind. So now, as you can see here, when this surmount ra is used with all these, except for the za and for nga, with the, the uh, with when it's used with nga. See the size is a little bit bigger, right? So this these are like maybe about half the size of this. So this is rangatanga. So just to keep in mind, this the letter ng or the fourth letter in the alphabet, 
by itself look like this when it's on on its top if the surmount letter ra is added then this is the new uh, form or the new shape so there's a little it protrudes a little bit right so see see the shape right here so there's a little uh, 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 change in the in the shape and then this is ta if you look here this is ta but when it's stacked like this then this is ra da 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 so there's a this piece right here is a little extra and then same thing uh, and another thing to keep in mind also when you do ra da da za generally za by itself ha have has this extra stroke right this is za without this is cha right but when you are using this as with the surmount letter ra then you don't put the zala or the extra stroke right here so that's why this is how it should look like ra za da za so this is ra za da za ra za da za right and then with the headed letters on in uchen the only thing to keep an eye on is this letter right here ra nya ta nya so when it's used on top of the letter nya which is the eighth letter in the alphabet you see the whole ra on top right with the rest you see part of the like the, the a little t right a, a, a part of the letter ra you see it at the top but with the letter nya the whole thing is used so, so that's something to keep in mind you, because you may see these and when you read books so that's that's something to keep in mind so now how would you read it and how do you pronounce it or whether it goes up down or remains the same so so these so with these combinations so this is this is how you would read it so if you see this combination right here you're going to read it as rakata and then you pronounce it as rakata ka rakata rakata ga it the, the tone is lowered right with this one the tone is same rangata nga the tone is higher rachata ja the tone is lower ranyata nya the tone is higher and then ratata ta same same tone no change ra ratata da lower tone ranata na higher tone raphata ba lower tone ramata ma higher ratata za same and ratata za lower so when it's same like we have seen in the previous one of the previous slide because those are the male letters right if the the, the the if the letter belongs to the male gender then there is no change even if you stack something on top of it okay then now the next one is called lango so so we are done with the example ra now la uh, lango chu lango chu so there are 10 letters on top of which you could use the surmount letter la so it's la kata la kata la ngata la chata la chata la tata la dada la pata la pata and la hata right so this is what it looks like and before you, uh, before you stack it and this is what it looks like after you stack it okay now same thing with the previous slide nga before you add it it looks like this the letter nga by itself looks like this but when you add the uh, surmount letter la then there's a little protrude right so it protrudes this way a little and then ta becomes this character right here and ta this becomes this character so there's a change here because ta looks like this by itself and ta looks like this by itself but when you add the la then there's a change in the shape right so this is so this is something to keep in mind especially if you're reading uh, ume and then uh, also this is the only letter the la letter nga it gets the full-blown la right not a little little la at the top but the whole la right if you look at the size this is twice as big as these at the top here right so that's something to keep in mind 
and then with the headed letters it doesn't matter it's the same just like you do it normally so that's something to keep in mind especially if you're doing uh, headless letters or ume and now same thing here so if it's a male letter there's no change if it's me uh, if it's female letter or if it's uh, one of the other genders there might be a change in the uh, tone so lakata ka so la so basically this is what it's saying la kata so to the surmount letter la you attach tak means attach attach what attach ka so la ka tak L to the to the surmount letter la you attach the letter ka so this is what this is saying la kata la kata la ngata la chata la chata so this is la kata ka la kata ga la ngata nga la chata cha la chata ja la tata ta la thata da la pata pa la phata ba la hata ha so if the arrow is pointing this way there is no change if the arrow is pointing down then there's a the change uh, the lower you lower the tone and then you uh, you 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 raise their uh, tone here it's higher right the tone is higher here it's lower here so that's something to keep in mind so when you see these combinations that's how you should read it out and there's nothing I mean you have to memorize these because you're gonna see all these combinations when you read books so you have to memorize no matter how you see it okay if I see it like this it's always ka if I see it like this it's ga and not ka or if I see like this it's nga and not nga so uh, these are the stuff that you have to memorize it so that when you see the combinations like this then you know exactly what what how to pronounce it okay now the next surmount letter is the letter sa so now the letter sa could be used on top of 11 letters so chukchik means 11 so ni meaning r so the 11 sango r so it goes on top of ka ka nga nya ta ta na pa pa ma and za. so this is what it looks like in uh, headed letters or in uchen and so these are the this is in ume and this is in uchen and then this is what it looks like when you stack it and now something to keep in mind so with sa again same thing nga right the same thing as the ra when or the la right when you use the um but the the, the shape is exactly same as when you use uh, ra as a surmount letter or uh, la as a surmount letter right so the nga is same ta also same Ta also same but now something really really different something that you have to keep in mind especially if you're reading uh, headless letters or in ume this looks totally different so you really need to pay attention and make sure you don't mess it up so this is the letter pa by itself so this is the letter pa by itself now when you uh, when you write sapata pa this notation right here is the sa and this letter generally this letter by itself is ya however when it's used with this combination you read it as sa pata pa so this is sa pata pa so you have to memorize this there is there is no other way to uh, remember it so this is no because the letter by itself is ya however with this combination you read it as sapatapa and you'll see a lot of examples in later slides and then this is satata za again to keep in mind za has a, 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 a an extra stroke by uh, here however when it's used with this combination you don't write the extra stroke over here right so that's something to keep in mind same thing with the razata right we have seen before so that's something to keep in mind. Nga, ta, ta, and za, we have seen similar cases with uh, the rango and the lango, right? But pa, this is something uh, different, uh, something specific to sa as a surmount letter. So that's something to keep in mind. So one more time, this is sa, pa, ta, pa. Sa, pa, ta, pa.
The rest are pretty easy. To okay, now uh, this is the table right here. So it's sakata, sakata, ka, sakata, ga, sangata, nga, sanyata, nya, satata, ta, satata, da, sanata, na, sapata, pa, sapata, ba, samata, ma, satata, Sa, right? So one more time. With uh, uh, sakata, and whether it's on top of this or not, you always pronounce the same thing, right? Now with this one, without the sermon letter sa, this is ka, ka. Now with this, it becomes ga, ka, ga. Like it's okay if I say kan, right? Or I can say gun. Right, so there is a difference, right? Kan or gun, right? So this is sa. When you add when you add sa on top, this becomes ga, as in gun, right? And sangata nga. So this is nga, right? Sanyata nya, nya. Without the without the surmount sa, this is nya, nya. Manana, manana. When you say manana, there's a now, if you add this, then it becomes manana, right? So there is a difference. So this, so this is nya, nya. Now, since this is a main letter, so there is no change. So this is ta, right? So ta, ta, ta. Now, this is ta without, with, it becomes da. Na without, na, with. With the letters uh, surmount sa, it becomes na. Without, it's na. Pa, since it's a main letter, no change, right? So it's sapata pa is pa, right? Now this is without the surmount sa, it's pa. With it becomes ba, right? You, you see, like if I say, if, if 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 this is not there, it's pa, like baby, right? Or you can say baby ba, or be, or or boy. The other one without you could say poi poi, or you could say boy, right? So when you add, it becomes ba as in boy so this is ma as in mango or mango but now with this it becomes ma so it's not mango it's not mango but rather mango right so without the surmount sa it's ma when you add this it becomes ma so it's ma ma now this is a main letter so there is no change so this is tsa, right Okay, so now these are the stuff that you have to memorize. There is no other way. So when you see these combinations, okay, this is the okay, sakata is ka, sakata is ga, sangata is nga, sanyata is nya, satata is ta. So you have to memorize all these so that when you read it, it'll be it'll make sense and it's easier. So now if I put everything on one slide, so these are the three different surmount letter, the letter ra, la, and sa. So you have twelve letters on which you could attach the surmount letter ra and then you have 10 letters on which you could attach the letter uh, the surmount letter la and then you have 11 letters on top of which you could attach the surmount letter sa right so it's rakata ka rakata ga rangata nga rachata ja ranyata nya ratata ta ratata da Ranata na, raphata ba, ramata ma, ratata za, ratata za, right? Now with the um, uh, surmount letter la, lakata ka, lakata ga, langata nga, lachata cha, lachata ja, latata ta, latata da, lapata pa, lapata ba, lahata ha. Okay. Now the next is sa. Sakata ka, sakata ga, sangata nga, sanyata nya, satata ta, satata da, sanata na, sapata pa, sapata ba, samata ma, satata za. So that's how you should read it. So this, 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 so these are in headed letters or in uchen. Now these are the same exact thing in 
umet. Okay, now some examples where we are using the three different uh, sermon letters. So the first example we are looking at is examples where you're using the sermon letter ra, right? As you can see here, there's ra here, there's ra here, there's ra here, and there, there's ra here. So the first one, it's called rangata nga and not nga, right? Uh, so that's why that's why I was saying you have to memorize and you have to know how to pronounce. Uh, so this is not ngamong, but rather ngamong. So there is a change, right? So there is a difference. So this is rangata nga manaro mo nga mong nga mong. Now this is rachata ja ja dengbo jena jen pa jempa, right? And then this is rathata da. Danaro do sanaro sul la sul do sul. Now over here, ratata za panaro porra por za por. And this is nga mong jen pa do sul and then za por. So it's nga mong jen pa do sul za por. So that's how you should read it. Okay, now the next surmount letter is uh, the letter la and we have some examples here so as you can see the letter surmount letter la is used here and then over here sa is used and also we also we have also used pa i mean la here so this this example has two surmount letters right the sa is here and then la is also here over here is just the la and then over here is the la okay so now the first example is la chata jang a jang mayata nya nya shapju nyu nyu ka nyu jang nyu jang nyu means green sapling la ta 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 deng bo te te pa te ka ra ta 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 ki gu ti te ti right and then sa ta ta sa ta 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 ka ta La pa ta pa pa ka sa pak tak pak tak pak and then la ka ta ka ka na ro ko ko ka kok la pa la kok la so this is how you should pronounce it jang nyuk tep ti tak pak and then kok la so that's how you should pronounce it so Jangyuk Tepti Takpa Koklap. Now the next is the uh, surmount letter uh, Sa, right? Okay, so now over here, as you can see, Sa is used here, Sa is used here, uh, Sa is used here, and then Sa is used here also. So Sakata Ka Kama Kam Pa Kampa Satata Da Da Dengbo De Derra der ka der ka and then sakata ga gala gel takiko chi ka chi ka sa chik gel chik satata ta tara tar ka tar ka and that's how you should read it and the pronunciation is kampa der ka ge chik tar ka so these are all, as you can see in the picture. See the one of the uh, thing that you may <coughs> you may not have seen. I mean, if that's uh, not easy to understand. Would be this example right here. This is called derka, and generally we do this offering on New Year's or maybe when people like uh, when people get married and stuff like that. You'll see, but always on New Year you'll see derka. So, the, and I have some examples here. Mm. So this is the picture from the earlier uh, page, uh, earlier slide. But in real life, this is what it looks like. So this is my derka from uh, this year's uh, 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 Tibetan New Year. So as you can see here, this piece right here, this is called Bo, where you put Chemar, which is same as this one right here in this picture. And then these right here are the kapse 
or we call it Pungamjo and right here and then uh, this right here is a, uh, is a head of a, 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 a sheep uh, which is same as right here and then uh, this right here we call it Lobi uh, so it's some people also call it Zhangba and so that's what uh, I mean this is the picture but in real life this is what it looks like and from what I've heard like long time ago maybe before Buddhism uh, came to Tibet maybe a long time ago as an offering maybe uh, the, the the people used to use uh, animal parts so I, I've heard like these could be so after Buddhism came to Tibet then all these uh, uh, animals uh, sacrifice uh, stopped and then in its place we started using these to so these could be uh, taken as a bone and I was told these could be taken as a bone and then this one right these are the other body parts inside the, uh, the stomach and then this one could be taken as a this is called buluk and this could be uh, this could donate I mean uh, denote a brain and then a brain of an animal and then this one here at the top uh, it's called bimbi tokto and it's uh, it resembles the heart so that's uh, I saw a recent uh, explanation from one of the older uh, Tibetan uh, 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 elder Tibetan and he was explaining what these meant uh, a long time ago so long time ago these are these these are all like uh, animal body parts now since then they have changed change it into so there's no killing involved so that's why basically this is offering to gods and goddesses and deities and all that stuff so every new year uh, you'll see uh, Tibetan uh, if you go to any house or any home you'll see this kind of uh, decoration Decoration or offering. So this is called derka. So generally, when people say derka, this it it pretty much involves this whole thing right here. So this whole thing is called decoration. I mean derka, derka. Sada da 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 dengbo de dera derka derka. And then here in the uh, headless letters, and I have another picture here. So, and then these are the water uh, water uh, bowl offering. So these right here, it's same as these right here in in this picture. So, so this whole thing generally, when you say darka, uh, you, pretty much you can include this whole offering right here, and then over here. So these are all. Uh, especially during New Year, this is how we uh, do offering uh, to the gods and goddesses and uh, deities and stuff like that. And this is at the uh, so the previous picture is at the uh, at the like common people's uh, level, right? Now this is at the government level. So this is uh, this is pictures from Tibetan uh, uh, New Year celebration from 2016 uh, in uh, Dharamsala, India. So I just got a screenshot here. So see, I mean, that's just like huge. Like if you look at, and the, I think these are all like butter sculptures. So these are all made out of butter, like uh, colored uh, butter. And then they do, they, they do all these uh, sculptures made out of butter. And these are all kinds of offering. And this, this right here is Chemar or the Bo, is same as this as you can see in this picture so this is how high like okay so if you you can just just to have a comparison i put this picture you can see how high these are stacked you know so this is from uh, tibetan new year uh, 2016 in dharamsala india and now <clears throat> now if you want to uh, th uh, this line will help you remember okay so that it'll tell you how many letters uh, uh, okay so how many letters are there that gets the surmount letter ra and how many are there with the surmount letter la and then how many letters are there that uses that use the surmount letter sa so this is just to help you so if you memorize this line then you would know how many so basically it's saying ra la sai go jin sum rango chung yi Ango chu, sango chukchi shepar cha. 
So I try to put it here the same how you would say Guo Jian Sum Rala Sai Guo Jian Sum Rango Jungi Lango Chu Sango Chukji Shepar Cha. So basically it's saying Rala Sa are the three surmount letters Sum meaning uh, Sum meaning three Guo Jian meaning surmount uh, So Rala Sa so you can see this Yi could be used as R. So Ra La Sa are the three surmount letters. Uh, there's uh, Rango Jungi meaning uh, uh, surmount letter Ra 12, uh, surmount le uh, letter La 10, and then uh, surmount letter Sa 11. Shebar Cha means keep that in mind, kind of like that. So that's uh, what you should know, and that's what you, you should keep in mind. So that's what this line is saying. So basically, it's saying, Guo Jian Sum, right? The three, Sum is the, Sum means three, Guo Jian meaning surmount or superscript, right? So it's, so basically, you, this is how you would read it. Guo Jian Sum, Ra La Sai, Guo Jian Sum, Rango, Jung Yi, Lango, Chu, Sango, Chuk Ji, Shepar Cha. So that's how you would say it. And I think that's the end of this letter, uh, I mean this lesson. So until the next video, as always, whenever possible, try to help others. If not, at least restrain from harming others. Thanks a lot.